In terms of the pause, the temporary pause on aid here, the testimony in the record, put aside what the House managers have said about their speculation, and they know what it's like to be denied aid. The testimony in the record is that this temporary pause was not significant. Ambassador, Bols Ambassador Volker testified that the brief pause on releasing the aid was quote unquote, not significant. And Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, David Hale explained that quote, this was future assistance, not to keep the army going now. So in other words, this isn't money that had to flow every month in order to fund current purchases or something like that. It was money, it's five year money. Once it's obligated, it's there for five years. And it usually takes quite a bit of time to spend all of it. So the idea somehow that during the couple of months in July, August, and up till September 11th, 55 to 48 days, depending on how you count it, that this was somehow denying critical assistance to the Ukrainians on the front lines right then, it's simply not true. And now the House managers have tried to pivot away from that because they know it's not true and to say, no, it was the signal to the Russians. It was the signal of lack of support that the Russians would pick up on. But here again, it's critical. Even the Ukrainians didn't know that the aid had been paused. 